Guys, what's up? Thank you very much for watching this video. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. There are so many videos that come out. Um, not many, I mean, I'm, I, I don't get scared. <laughs> One in the morning, but not every day. Sometimes more often than not, but you know, in the mornings, uh, usually I'll come out with a video, which I think are helpful, maybe. Uh, you'll be the judge of that. And then in the evening, there's always a video that analyzes and reviews some company that might be a buy so if you're new seriously seriously consider subscribing you might find this channel helpful we're going to talk about a company that is going public very soon extremely soon we'll talk about the dates and all that stuff in this video and this company everyone has the backing of big time names in the healthcare sector and uh, so I think that this is something interesting. It is not available for pre-order, so that might actually be a good thing, because usually, you know, good companies don't, really good companies, they'll never come as available as a pre-order. Um, you know, you'll usually get as a pre-order $4 cheap stock that are good for a day trade, and there's no complaint with that, but that's, you know, so uh, this is interesting. Let's talk about this one. So, Saginet Biosciences Corporation has filed for a $75 million US IPO. Interesting because the amount of money they received from investors is a whole lot more than that. The biopharma firm is developing treatment candidates for NASH and with its Chinese partner, Asletis, they're developing acne and cancer drugs. This is a California-based company, it's a US California-based company, and it was founded to develop treatment candidates for diseases that result from too much fatty acid production such as NASH. Management is headed by President and CEO David Happ, who has been with the company since October 2022, was previously the CEO of Cognoa, and the firm's lead candidate is TVB2640. Investors in the firm have invested $250 million. So they got $250 million from institutional investors, but are going public for a $75 million IPO, which is very interesting. Now, the institutional investors who have invested in this company are very well-known names in the life sciences healthcare sector. These are investors who invest in really good healthcare stocks, such as AP11 Limited is one of the investors, Baker Brothers Life Sciences, KPCB, New Enterprise Associates, SGMT Holdings, are you looking for a Discord platform that offers a first-class trading community? That's what you can expect when you join Bull Market Watch. Trading can be challenging for some people, but we're here to simplify the process for you. Our Discord deals with day trades, swing trades, and long-term trades. Hundreds of traders operate through our Discord, where we come up with stocks to trade for profits on the NASDAQ and in YSE. With a low monthly subscription of $9.90, you will have full access to our Discord where you can interact with other traders and get all the latest news when it comes to trading as well. It's a community that is extremely supportive of one another and always willing to help each other out. Become a member of Bull Market Watch today and be on your way to a better financial situation. And the pipeline includes a phase three trial, a phase three drug already. So you never know. This might actually turn out really good. Not on day one, but later on. SGMT is the ticket symbol. They're going to offer 4.7 million shares. So that's going to be low, right? Price range 15 to 17 US dollars. Goldman Sachs is the underwriter. And it is said that it's going public on Friday, July 14. We'll see because they might push it back, just like they pushed back warranty, WRNT. So this is the pipeline. They have a drug here on phase three, so I like that. Obviously, they haven't gotten any FDA approvals, so they don't have any revenue, but you can see the operating expenses. Valuation score, I'm gonna go three and a half. Usually, I would have gone with a neutral, but I'm gonna go a little bit towards the positive side because of the, the huge, institutional investors in the investment that has been thrown at this stock and um, so i think this is going to be very interesting i definitely want to put it minimum the minimum i want to do is put on my watch list i'll see at what price it opens if it opens anything higher than 15 bucks i might not get in to be honest but i'll still have it on my on my watch list just in case it falls so i like this but it is something i'm going to take a look at on day one at what price eventually it will open right 
but I do like this. I like the fact that they have such uh, great backing. Let me know in the comment section below what you think, and I wish you all the best. Take care.